Okay, so uh, I like to travel around a lot with a toy acoustic guitar. It's a uh, it's a fun way to you know keep your chops while you're traveling. And uh, I uh, also went to TourCon last fall and got a, uh, a TourCon badge, which was a, a knob that goes to 11. Okay. Uh, and then we've got this DSP on the on the on the uh, DEF CON badge. So I said, I've got a guitar, I've got a knob that goes to 11, I've got a DSP. I should make the DEF CON Super Rocker 18. And uh, it uh, unfortunately it doesn't exactly go to 11 because I um, I left my TourCon badge at home. Mm. So I had to use some swag from, so it only uh, only goes from to 10. Black Hat. And yeah. it doesn't actually have numbers. So if somebody wants to take a Sharpie, I can uh, you know make it go to 11. Um, and this was almost a total fail. Uh, I worked really hard on it, and I'm trying to use uh, uh, a method of, of uh, an optical reflective pickup. Uh, I saw this as an opportunity to experiment with, with guitar technology. So I'm, I'm using an optical reflective pickup, and I have what I think is a novel method to, to use this pickup in a manner that rejects interference from like pulsing lights or like a jackass with a, with a uh, TV mod be gone. modulated uh, yeah. TV be gone or laser pointer or something. Uh, but um, but I didn't get it working, oh. so I don't have I don't have anything to demo for you except for the built-in tuner. Cool. <laughs> the built-in tuner is stroboscopic, uh, and it's a three-phase stroboscopic tuner that's best viewed on edge. So I fire up by pushing this mm -hmm. button, and then you can see if it's out of tune, the colors all jump around. Yep. And then when you get it in tune, the colors stabilize, and then you can just advance to the next string.